Good afternoon and welcome to another installment of Ship to Shore. I'm Lieutenant General Morelli Bajo coming to you from the Navy Office of Community Outreach here in beautiful downtown Millington, Tennessee. A littoral combat ship or LCS operates near the shore and can be described as a military jet ski with a flight deck and a gun. Petty Officer Duhart, you currently serve aboard USS Billings, also a Freedom Class littoral combat ship. What other ships have you served on and how does your time on USS Billings compare and contrast? Sir, prior to being stationed on board the USS Billings, I embarked with Carrier Air Wing 3 on board USS Harry S. Truman, as well as USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. One of the most noticeable differences is the crew size. It went from about 4,000 to a little over 70. So we are very close knit on board the Billings. My job on board the U.S. Billings, as well as being an IT, is to ensure that we have global communications, as well as our line of sight voice and data circuits. My job also is to ensure that we have IP services, which allow us to stay connected to our friends and family at home. One of the more large parts of our job as well is now cybersecurity, and we ensure that our network is protected from adversaries. Specifically for the LCS, we have a pretty extensive training pipeline that keeps us in front of all the modern cutting edge technology. It allows us to be more cognizant about what we're doing on board, as well as keep us competitive with our civilian counterparts. Some of those systems we manage include our navigation systems, our global satellite communication systems, as well as our interior communication systems. All of these allow us to stay connected inside the skin of the ship, as well as outside the skin of the ship. And it also allows us to communicate with our friendly forces, whether they be surface or air. In order to keep the team motivated, it's very important to ensure that they know what we're doing and understand the bigger picture. Tasks that may seem small and unimportant actually help us in the long run to accomplish our mission. So if we get home safely and accomplished, it keeps everyone happy. We're on a very minimally manned ship, which means we can only be in one place at one time. So luckily on an LCS, we have sailors that get the job done right and they get the job done quickly. And I feel like that is a basic building block for becoming a leader. The hands-on knowledge, as well as being able to do things without being told, is perfect. Things can get hard, and if we come together as a team and work hard, we'll all be happy and we'll get the mission accomplished. Personally, something that keeps me going is knowing that I'm making my family proud. It's very important to know that they keep me accountable and they also hold me to a very high standard. So it makes me a better person in the uniform as well as outside of the uniform. It's also something that helps keep us going on board the ship when we're out to sea for long periods of time, because we know that we're coming home to support and love from our family. My fiance is honestly one of the most supportive people I have in my corner, which is most of the reason why I think we work so well. We work great as a team, and he also holds me accountable in my profession. He makes sure that I take advantage of the things that I have, as well as be the best that I can be for every, in everything that I do. So it's important to me also to know that I'm coming home to someone like him that keeps me on my P's and Q's at any given time. So IT1, I've had the opportunity to uh, share your story with our audience and ask you uh, quite a few questions, but I'm sure I've missed something. Would you like to add something? The floor, it's yours. Yes, sir. For, first and foremost, I would like to thank my family for holding me accountable and creating the opportunities that they did to be in this position. I want to thank my command for being the best command I've ever been at as well as the sailors that make me a better leader. They teach me just as much as I teach them and I could never say thank you enough for that. I also wanna thank the Navy for allowing me to be here and giving me the opportunity to serve on board one of these versatile vessels. Fantastic, well it's been a pleasure speaking with you and of course, uh, Seeing Chief Richards. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me, sir.